This tutorial will specifically be for users who have purchased Garden Warfare 2 from Steam, so if you have purchased a game from either the EA app, EA Origin, or the Epic Games Store, the process will most likely be the same, although there will be some subtle differences. With that all being said, let's get started, shall we? In order to use mods beyond the anti-cheat update, you will need to have the following. Garden Warfare 2 on PC. No shit. The Frosty Mod Manager. Frosty Fix. A mod that you wish to apply. And for the sake of convenience, a modified Frosty Mod Support DLL file. Links will be in the description to grab the necessary Frosty tools. And as for the modified DLL file, you can acquire this from the Frostbite modding server, which will be linked in the description. Once everything is installed, we're going to continue to the next step. Open the Frosty Mod Manager folder until you reach this screen right here. What you are going to do is remove the Frosty Mod Support DLL file that's already there. Just simply drag it out and then delete the file. We'll be replacing this with our modified file. This file is exactly the same as the one we are replacing, but with a few internal modifications for the sake of convenience. Next, you'll want to right-click on the Mod Manager executable and click on Properties. This window should now appear. Head over to the tab that says Compatibility, and then check the box that says to run this program as administrator, and then click on Apply. This will basically make the program always open as administrator every time it is launched, which prevents issues later on. Once you've done that, Repeat the same process with the FrostyFix application. Once all of that is done, we can now proceed to launching the Frosty Mod Manager. Launching the Mod Manager for the first time, you should see this screen. Click on the Scan for Games button in the bottom corner, and in a few seconds, Garden Warfare 2 should show up. Select the game, and then allow the Mod Manager to compile the profile. This process will take anywhere from 2 to 10 minutes depending on your system specs, so it's strongly advised to let it wait and do its thing. Once it's finished, you should get this screen, proclaiming that the profile SDK is outdated. Just simply click the X, and it will bring you to this menu. This is where you'll be applying all of your mods. So let's add one. We're going to click the Add Mods button, and then locate the mod that we wish to use, which in this example is a HUD mod by Chompas, which will make UI elements in the game black and green. Double click on the mod, and it will import it into the mod manager. Now for most mods, especially older ones, you will get this screen explaining that the mod was made in a different version. 9 times out of 10, this can just be ignored, unless the creator of the mod has said otherwise. Now, it is very important that you double-click on the mod, as so that then it can apply, and then it will show up on this screen right here. There should be a little checkbox next to it that should be ticked. This will indicate that the mod has been applied. Now that it's applied, we shall now click on the launch button. This will not apply the mod straight away, but we launch it with the mod manager now, so that this window will show up, so that we can get the new installation over and done with, and won't have to mess about with it later. Once the game launches, as you can see, the HUD mod has not been applied. This is perfectly fine, so now we need to close the game. With the game closed, we are now going to open the FrostyFix application. Just as a heads up, if this window shows up when you go to launch the application, just simply click yes, allow it to install what is needed, run the file, and then you should be good to go. So now, when we open FrostyFix, you should get a screen that looks like this. Click the drop-down list under Select Game, select Garden Warfare 2, select the platform of choice to be the EA Desktop, and then on the right, make sure that the Select Pack says Default, as Default is what the Mod Manager uses. Now before we launch, we need to make sure that the EA app is completely closed. So we are going to open the Task Manager, go into the Processes tab, and scroll down until we can see the following. If any of these processes are open, close them by right-clicking on the process and selecting End Task. This includes the EA app, all separate EA instances, and the EA background service. Now that all those processes are closed, we can now launch FrostyFix. This should, after a few seconds, cause the EA app to launch. If it does, launch Garner Warfare 2 from here. Now once the game boots up, wait until the cutscene begins to play, then click off it, and then close the game since at this point the mod has not yet applied. So for this example, I will wait until I load into the backyard, and as you can see, the mod has not applied. So now, we're going to close the game. Now, for the last step, we're going to head back to the mod manager, and we're going to click on the launch button. Now whilst the game is launching, here is something to keep in mind for future use. Mods that are relatively big, such as Vivid Warfare, Garden Warfare, or the Wolf and Pup boss hunt, just to name a few, will cause the launching process to take a long time, especially if you are combining multiple mods together. 
This is because the Frosty Mod Manager is a very resource-intensive program, so on low-end systems, it may take upwards of a few minutes to launch mods. But once the process is done, the game should launch, and once it is loaded in, you will see that your mods have now applied. And that's it. That is how you launch Garden Warfare 2 with mods after the anti-cheat update. You can now enjoy whatever mod you've launched with, and play the game as you see fit. If you have any further questions, you can join the Frostbite modding server and look at the common issues chat if you have any further questions. And if you need more technical assistance, then you can open a ticket in the Frosty troubleshooting chat. Just make sure to follow the template provided on screen, and the member of staff will be with you shortly. One last thing before I make my leave is during the process of changing mods. Simply put, when the game is closed, if you plan on using the same mods as before, then you can just launch Frosty Fix and launch the game through there as normal. If, however, you wish to change mods, whether that includes either adding or removing them, then you will need to apply the mods you wish to use, launch through Frosty Fix, launch the game for the EA app, wait until the cutscene plays, then close the game, and then launch for the mod manager, so that then your new mods will apply. This concludes the tutorial, and now you'll be able to use mods for the Steam version of Garden Warfare 2. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this, have fun.